Some parts of the acetabulum that were discussed in the last video can actually be seen on plain x-rays. This whole semicircular structure, as discussed in the last video, is the acetabulum. And these are the anterior and posterior margins of the acetabulum. Remember, the acetabulum is a cup-shaped, three-dimensional structure, but the structures are superimposed on plain x-rays. Also note that the visible rim on the image is not continuous, and there is a sudden bulge medially. The bulge appears to be next to the fovea on the head of the femur. The fovea is the non-articulating part of the joint on the head of the femur, and the bulge in the acetabulum represents acetabular fossa, which is the non-articulating part of the acetabulum. The head of the femur does not articulate with the acetabulum in this area. The fovea is the site of attachment for the ligament of the head of the femur. The other end of this ligament is attached to the acetabular fossa. So, the ligament of the head of the femur is located between the fovea and this bulge in the acetabulum. This part of the rim shows the articulating surface superiorly, which, if you remember, is known as the lunate surface. This area is frequently referred to as the roof of the acetabulum. The acetabular notch is located inferiorly. A single CT scan image, coronal reconstruction, showing the roof of the acetabulum, acetabular fossa, fovea, and acetabular notch. Thank you.